everybody, guess what? It is time for the penultimate match of the 2023 Pokemon Showdown Championship Tournament. Tonight, we've got Dragon Tamer Tai versus Laughing Block. I am so excited for this match. Both of these guys are coming off of really, really strong victories this year. They've had some really, really excellent battles. Uh, they have won some decisive victories, and they have both made it here to the end. For Block, this is his second time in a row, which makes this a bit of an interesting match, because normally these guys would be battling for the Elite title. But since Block already has one, in the event that Block should win, Ty will gain the Elite title. I don't see a reason that we should skip it this year just because of that. And also, Ty has been, I think, in the Final Four every single year. Uh, and yep. he is, yep, and this is his first time making it to the final battle, so I'd say he's earned it either way. But what these guys are really going to be battling for is the chance to take the fight to Ebon Blade, knock him off the throne, and gain that champion crown. This is going to be really exciting. This match, I think, could go, it's either going to be really long or really short, because... That's how a lot of the battles this year have been. I'm really excited to see it. Let's get down to the pitch. Uh, I don't even know uh, who, who to start with first. Ty, how about you? How are you feeling tonight, man? Oh, I'm feeling something all right. Uh, uh, I'm uh, afraid, but I'm also like, I really love all these Pokemon, except for a couple. But like, I understand they're for like setting set up. And like, it's all like... I like the composition of Block's team. I like just, I like my Pokemon. So either way, and as you said earlier, like I've made it basically to the same, like around the same spot every year. Mm -hmm. So I've already won. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And you worked really hard to get there. But uh, I am really excited to see you perform tonight. And I am really, really excited to see how this goes. So let's get over to Block. Block, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, he brought n literally nothing I expected. <laughs> ooh, ooh, literally got you shaking really? in your boots a little, a little bit. Fear the unknown. Uh, a little bit, but like uh, I'm hoping the fact I brought, uh, I mix things uh, uh, up a little bit here. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that'll pay off in my favor this go around or it could be or it could be d my demise but you know what it's worked for me so far so i'm just gonna lean into the fact that <clears throat> i'll win <laughs> well it has gotten you this far twice uh in, in succession so uh, you know if it's if it ain't broke don't fix it all right block anything you want to say to ty before we get started i'll win fair enough ty how about you let's have a fantastic game Absolutely. All right, guys, let's do this. Three, two, one, begin. All right, here we go. Ty's leading with the Galvantula block. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for carrying on my torch, though. <laughs> Yeah, that Claude Sire, that Claude Sire got totally... Never too soon. Yeah, I got totally walled by it in my match. Let's see if... It, that was you, wasn't it, Ty, who walled me with a Claude Sire? Okay, he's setting out the Sticky Web. There's an earthquake. Big crit on the Galvantula, but the Sticky Web is down. Let's see if Ty wants to keep out his injured Galvantula or switch to something else, or if he's got something else in his back pocket. I don't know. It's Ty. He's always got something. Let's see what happens. Claude Sire, though, that's a very, very strong Pokemon for how unassuming it looks. Okay, here comes the Hydrapple, and there's some spikes getting set down from Block. We got Entry. Okay, there's an Infestation. That's going to trap. Okay, and there's a Toxic. Okay, both of these Pokemon are going to start ticking down their health bars, though. However, Claude Sire is trapped and cannot move because of the Infestation. There's an Earth Power. It's super effective, but barely does anything to the Claude Sire, which continues to lay down spikes while the Toxic chips away at the Hydrapple. That's a new one, right? From the from the new expansion or whatever? I don't recognize it. Yeah. Yep, from, okay. the, from, the indigo, from the Indigo disc. Right, all right. There's Lapras out of the field. Takes some entry hazard uh, damage while the Claude Sire recovers. Back to full health. All right, let's see what these guys are going to do next. We've got two very interesting Pokemon out. 
they could have a lot of things going for him. Let's see. I like the shiny Lapras. I don't think I've ever seen a shiny Lapras before. That's a really nice Kelly. Thank you. All right, these guys are... All right, all right, here comes the Archilodon. And there's this, the speed drop. There's a Dragon Dance. The, the Lapras is Dragon Dancing. I can't wait to see this. All right, now that 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 speed drop on the Archilodon, that's, that's not great. Okay, there's a Heal Bell that's going to cure the poison. There's a Flash Cannon. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. That's a, that's that's pretty pretty tanky Lapras right there. I expected more. I guess the, the water typing offsets the ice weakness, so that's good. But yeah, the uh, the Hydrapple is now no longer poisoned thanks to that heal bell. And we're in a situation right now where... Okay, no, Ty is going to swap out. He's going to lose the Dragon Dance, but he's going... Okay, here's the Electro Shot that is going to raise the Arcaludon's special attack. Okay, here comes Electivire. Ty is just switching out all over the place. And a masterful use of that ability there, absorbing the Electro Shot. There's a bulk up. And yeah, we have, oh, there's a Draco Meteor. It's a ton oh. of damage. It takes out the Electivire before it can do anything. That's not good. That's our first faint. 10 turns in. Let's see what Ty is going to send out next to combat that terrifying Archaludon. I really like that thing. Okay, it's the Hydrapple. I really like the Archaludon. I think it's a very, very strong Pokemon, but I'm eager to see what the Hydrapple can do too. Because I don't recall either of its other forms being very good in the, in the previous games, but this one must be stronger. So let's see what it can do. Ty still got a lot of power in his back pocket. Block has some stat drops there. He might switch out. He might not. I don't know. Question is, are either of them willing to risk the entry hazards? That okay? Here come here comes the Claude Sire again, getting caught in that sticky web. There's a fickle beam that does a decent amount of damage to the Claude Sire, but it's just just too strong. It's too bulky. That Black Sludge healing it up. That speed drop not mattering because it's slow anyway. Okay, there's an Earth Power, super effective, but just not a whole lot of damage. And the Toxic is back out. That's going to poison the Hydrapple again, setting Ty back to where he was. Okay, he's bringing out the Superior now, and there's a Recover nearly bringing the Claude Sire back to full health. All right, let's see what the Superior is going to do. There's a Substitute. All right, and there's a Toxic, but the Toxic fails thanks to the Substitute. That is exactly what Ty needed to get around that toxic -ing. You do absolutely do not want a Pokemon like this spreading Toxic across your team. That is absolutely dangerous. So let's see what... He's got his Substitute down. Let's see what he's going to do now. That's going to put Block in a dangerous position. Ty's potentially got the defensive upper hand. Does Block want to risk it? Or does he want to choose something else? Let's see. Uh, he's going to bring in the Arculodon again. And here comes a Leaf Storm, which is going to be heavily resisted. Four times resist. From the, from the Archiludon, however, that uh, it does get the defense boost, but Superior's just going to keep powering up with that with that Contrary. Okay, and there's a Flash Cam that's going to take out the uh, <coughs> the Substitute there, and there's another Leaf Storm, but God, that four times resist, even with all that special attack boost, it's just not doing a whole lot to the Archiludon. Meanwhile, that Flash Cannon just put a huge dent in Superior. Now let's see if Ty wants to keep it out. It is fully boosted at four times special attack. If he swaps it, he'll lose it. But the question is, is he willing to lose it? Let's find out. Those entry hazards are not doing... Okay, there's a substitute again. It just barely had enough for that. But the flash cannon takes it out instantly. Superior is not going to get to lay down another substitute unless it can heal somehow. Let's see what... Okay, there's a hidden power. Does a whole lot of damage to the Archiludon. That is exactly what Ty needed. Didn't yeah. get the faint. Didn't get the faint. Block takes another kill under his belt. But that Archiludon is now in really, really bad condition. Okay, here comes the Lapras again. Bunch of damage by the entry hazard spikes there. Is Block willing to risk the Archiludon? There's an Icy Spear in it. It... Is it gonna... Is it gonna? Yes, it does, and it takes out the Archiludon just barely. All right, there is a great victory for Ty there, getting rid of that very strong wall for Block. Let's see what Block is gonna send out next. Lapras is hanging in there at 36%, and whatever Block sends out, he's gotta deal with that sticky web. Okay, he's sending out the Samurott, the Hisuian Samurott. That's a very strong Pokemon. There's a Sacred Sword. Ton of damage there. That's gonna take out the Lapras. All right, Block's got three, or uh, Ty's got three Pokemon left. Let's see what he sends out next. That speed drop isn't great for the uh, 
<coughs> excuse me, for the Samurott. It relies a lot on its speed. Okay, here's the Hydrapple again. Is Block going to risk having out the Samurott? Or is it going to send in something else? I don't know. That's a very, very strong variant of Samurott. So he could be packing a lot, but it's it doesn't have the type advantage here. <laughs> so it's all up to Block now. Let's see what he's going to do. Ty's got him in a corner. He's thinking very, very carefully about this next move. This battle's very important. And he's got the upper hand, but any wrong move could do it, because that's Pokemon. All right, there's an energy ball. Bit of damage to the Claude Sire there, but not a whole lot. It is just too tanky. And that excellent typing, too, is just great for defensive purposes. Let's see if Ty wants to keep out the high travel. There's an Earth Power. It's going to be super effective because it just doesn't do a whole lot of damage. There is a third layer of spikes coming down. All right, and he's going to bring in the Grimmsnarl, and there is 25% damage from the spikes there. But Grimmsnarl's pretty strong. Okay, Block is going to send out the Pelipper, bringing the rain, and there is a Reflect getting set up. Dragon Tamer Ty is setting up some uh, defenses on his side. That should help. There's a Light Screen. There's a U-Turn from the Pelipper. Pelipper's going to go back. Let's see who Block sends out in its place. He's got a couple of choices here, but he's going to have to be really careful because he, he knows whatever he sends out is going to get hit by that sticky web, which is still a speed drop, can make a whole lot of difference in a match, and Block knows that. So let's see. Okay, he's going to send the Samrot back in. Yep, and it does suffer the speed drop. There's a Razor Shell, and it... Wow! Ton of damage there, but... And a Spear Break! Super effective hit on the Samrot there. Big damage. Still... Okay, here comes the Hydrapple again. We are going to see another Razor Shell come in. Hydrapple's going to resist that, but the unlucky crit... Well, Razor Shell does have a high percentage to crit, so I guess it's not that unlucky, but... All right, let's see now what happens. Okay, another Razor Shell, and it, it's a huge resist there. And the, there's a Fickle Beam from the Hydrapple, and that is going to take out the Samurott. Block is starting to lose Pokemon. Now, that Hydrapple is still hanging in there, but it's got that Toxic on it. Let's see what Ty is going to do next. He's got another one of Block's Pokemon down. He's going for the Infestation again. That's going to... You can't double poison. Sorry, Block. That's going to lock in the uh, the Claude Sire there. But the Toxic is picking away. No, he's going to bring out the Galvantula instead. And there's going to be a recovery there from the Claude Sire. Uh, healing what little damage it had. There's a Bug Buzz. Big resist there by the Claude Sire. It's going to go for the Earthquake. And that is going to take out the Spider... Ty is down to two Pokemon. The Reflect is wearing off. Ton of damage there. This isn't looking good for Ty, guys, unless he's got something up his sleeve. But still, two of two of Block's best Pokemon have been knocked out. There's another Earth Power there, but the Claude Sire is just going to heal it. I hate that thing. <laughs> All right, let's see what Ty does now. That Claude Sire is just sitting pretty there. All right, he's going to send in the Grimstar, which is going to get taken out by the Spikes. And there is the Sinistee from Block, but guys, I think... Okay, no, the Hydrapple did survive. Wasn't sure it had enough to survive. Another layer of spikes. There's an infestation. Yeah! But there's a Shadow Ball, and it takes it out, and Block has won! Championship is mine again! Claude Sire is just too fucking strong. <laughs> yeah. Good game, Block. Yeah, good game, guys. Good game, dude. Oh, that was probably... Yeah, that was probably the... Is that the longest match of the tournament so far? I'm not it entirely sure, I don't it? think it is. No, but we also haven't had any huge, like, drawn-out matches like we did previously, because, you know, nobody's using Toxapex. But, <laughs> God, that was a good game. That was really great game, guys. And Ty, I bestow upon you the Elite title. Congratulations. Congratulations, Woo! Ty. And uh, next year, man, bring it back up. Bring it back up and try to knock Evan out of his spot. I know you can. I know you can make it this far again. Speaking of which, speaking Evan, of which, <laughs> I am coming for you again, again. 